Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Team of the Season Otavio card that came out today for the League SPC. Now, obviously, another card that is of some sentimental value because of the fact that he is from FC Porto. So, yet another player to add to the Porto team if I end up making it. The reason why I keep saying if I end up making it is because if I actually liked this game, the content that I would be throwing out to you guys would be insane. You think I upload a lot right now, you have no idea what I would do if the game was actually good. But in regards to Otavio's card, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at a card that is five foot eight with high medium work rates, right footed with four star skill moves and a three star weak foot. So right off the bat, EA could have given him the weak foot. Four star, four star, bare minimum would be ideal. I don't know why they still create cards that, you know, the game has like three or four months left. If you're going to release a League SBC card that's an attacker, you give him the weak foot, you know what I'm saying? But regardless, I would still enjoy using the card for sentimental whether or not he's going to be meta. But obviously for the player reviews, I always tell you guys whether or not the card's actually good or not right with uh i think it was luis diaz that we were, we were reviewing uh the the other day um wasn't a fan of his off the ball moving for the sides right but i'm always going to give you guys an honest opinion i will use it for sentimental but i'll let you guys know if the card is good or not in regards to his attributes ladies and gentlemen looking at 92 acceleration with 88 sprint speed he has 83 finishing with 90 shot power uh 94 attacking positioning passing stats are good What's his work rates? He's high medium with what stamina? 85 stamina. How tall is he? 5'8". Uh, okay, so dribbling stats are pretty decent as base card stats. My boy gave him a sniper chemistry style to increase his shooting as much as possible. I mean, honestly, the card is a concept card for sure. It's not going to be like this amazing card, but for me, it's a sentimental. So obviously raises the bar, right? Uh, but... I mean, what I'm looking at with this card in regards to how he looks is that he would probably be mostly ideal as uh, a cam, actually. Yeah, he would probably be mostly ideal as a cam. The Brazilian links actually helps out a lot in regards to some things that I'm thinking about, especially with uh, Casemiro's card existing, right? Yeah, a sniper, a sniper looks okay. We're going to be taking a look at some other chemistry styles that we could see that could potentially help out the card, but we're going to test them out anyways in-game. 85 stamina, again, not the greatest. It could have been better, but 85 stamina is definitely usable, right? So because he's 85 stamina, yet again, it would suggest that he would probably be better in the center cam position. But I want to see what his off-the-ball movement is like, especially since he doesn't actually have the weak foot. In regards to traits, he only has the flare trait. So again, guys, I could tell you this right now. This is a concept card, right? It's not going to be like this amazing card. Luis Diaz, he actually got some significant improvements uh, to make him actually like a really, really nice card. But Otavio is definitely going to be more for sentimental of whether or not you're going to go with the Liga Noche team, stuff like that, right? Um... Let's see how we're going to line up with these guys. I'm still going to get the card because you guys know how I am. Uh, we're going to use balance. Let's use... We'll use four with three depth, sure. With we'll put... I don't even know what I do for this. I'll do like four and three, I guess, for balance, balance. Formation, we'll make sure we have Jetson Fernandez off to the right. Kid as a left back, so I have no idea what he's doing there. Otavio... Nakajima, I mean, ah, dude, it's pretty fun that I can have like Nakajima and Otavio in the same team, but you guys know how I am. Uh, Neymar in the middle, Belasi on top, Otavio on the right. Uh, Neymar is amazing on the sides, so we'll put, we'll put Nakajima, yeah, we'll put Nakajima on the left with Neymar to the right. Let, um, let me try out Otavio first as a cam with comeback and defense because he actually has some decent stamina on him. So stay back while attacking, cover center. We'll do these guys on cut pass lanes as well. I like the movement from cut pass lanes. It actually feels like they're doing something. Uh, the fullbacks are not in the right position. So Jeremy Matthew is over there. Kaisera, Siqueira. Okay, cool. So let's get into a game just like this. Um, obviously, I like the card for Sentimental, but I'll let you guys know how he performs in game, whether or not he's like a beast, even regardless of the fact that he has a three-star weak foot. Because as you guys know, Bernardo Silva also has a three-star weak foot, but he's a freaking monster, right? So let's see how this card plays in game. Right now, in this general attack, when we're staying up top, he is sticking to his position quite nicely. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for a switch right here, see what happens. Okay, so he comes close to me here, which is nice. Oh, that's Neymar, actually. Okay, so rotation policy with him. I was checking him out on the radar. Oh, he's always moving. Look at that. Okay. 
I mean, in the cam position, um, I am liking his movement. I totally forgot that I put him in the cam position. I thought I was using him in the right mid position first off. Um, in the cam position, he is always consistently moving. So that is a good start. We're going to keep experimenting with that. A little fake shot there. It's response to my dribble in a certain way. Starts to occupy the striker position. Bolasi, Otavio. Good little run right there, actually. Um, he's one of those cams that um, he likes to go to the sides quite a bit. Which isn't like a personal preference of mine that much. I like aggressive runs, but not players that consistently go to the sides. So we'll see what's up with that. I, I think he's going to be a player that you strictly use in the, in the wing position, I'm pretty sure. We're going to see, though. Okay, so how do you play off of the pass like that? Oh, this game is so weird right now. Nice. Dribbling with a sniper is uh, pretty solid on him. Hey, okay, that's a good run. That's a, that's a run I expect him to make. I could have made that pass, but I just want to see what he does like in this situation here. And he's in a good position. Touch, touch, touch. Yeah, left stick dribbling not too bad with the sniper chemistry style. I mean, I can tell you guys this so far. Uh, using him in the cam position... Uh, uh, he's a concept card, you know, like I'm having fun using him because he's a usable version of his card, but it's not like this like amazing card. Like I, I think I enjoyed using the Diaz card more. Aggressive run there again. I'm not pressing L1 for those runs, by the way. It's like I need to experiment with it without pressing L1 because L1 is a forced one, right? So yeah, he's playing in the striker position right now. He's His off the ball movement is suggesting like you know, you could use him in the striker position. Like, just the way that he's moving. Look, he's playing cam, but look at how he's positioned right now against uh, Bolasi, right? Super, super aggressive. So it definitely suggests that he would be a decent uh, a decent left or right attacking mid. Because, look, like, he starts to move to the right side there in that situation. You see what I'm saying? Got a shot power from there. Yeah, so we'll move him to the sides. Because in the cam position, I'm not really feeling the card too much. So let me go ahead and move the card. Neymar is actually like a really good cam, so I think this should definitely be very interesting. Otavio's movement is very interesting too, so because he's right-footed, I kind of want to test him to the left side. It's unfortunate that he doesn't have the outside foot shot trait, but um, I'm definitely curious to see how he's going to move in that position now. Oh, his positioning is very strange here. I'll make the forward run right there. He seems very basic in regards to off-the-ball movement on the sides so far. Yeah, he's very basic. Look, he's stagnant. You see that? I personally don't like when my players on the side start behaving that way. Uh, this guy's probably going to leave the game because of God knows what reason. Because, you know, EA formats this game perfectly. Uh, yeah, guys, he feels he feels very basic so far. Like, obviously, I love to use the card because he's an FC Porto player. But uh, so far, he feels very, very basic. I'm going to go ahead and try him out in the right attacking mid position. And then I'll give my final verdict afterwards. But so far, he just he feels kind of generic. Okay, a little bit of a cut inside there. It's because we made the width a little bit more narrow. Now, I, people, I've seen some comments the other day about people like talking about the tactics that I use and whatnot. Guys, you need to be able to have width in your team so that your players are the ones that move off the ball into the space nicely. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just, okay, I'll, I can force players to play more narrow, of course, right? But if you do that, it makes your play more linear because your team is so is so narrow, right? Like you need width to be able to attack certain spaces but your players are the ones that need to get into those attacking spaces quickly like this narrow this narrow tactic i'm already using right now like it just it can't be done you know because like it's just gonna be it's just not gonna be ideal right like you need to have four players in the box up to three you need to have some sort of movement in regards to that with Bolasi, i'll just tell him to stay central Neymar, Nakajima, Otavio. Let's try Otavio on free roam. And get into the box. Let's see what happens when he does that.
I'm liking him on, I like, I like him on free roam a little bit more, in all fairness. It's definitely one of those uh, cards that you would have to force instructions on for him to play, to play, for him to be more usable, in my opinion. I just want anyone to know that, like, if you play any of these defensive tactics the way that you do, like, you're not good at this game, man. You're just lucky the game is formatted in a way that allows you to play like a loser. I don't like Otavio on the sides, like, at all. It's, uh, it's not doing it for me, man. I need to use him, uh, in the middle, I think, for me to utilize his best potential, right? But he feels, in general, like a very basic card, my dudes. Um... Doesn't really feel too special at all, to be honest with you. Let me switch him back to the cam position right now. Um, I want to use Neymar off to the sides. We'll put him back on the regular instructions. And we'll try out Otavio that way again. Yeah, he's definitely better in the cam position. Like You feel like you're utilizing the card more, for sure. I have to put, uh, when you're using, like, new teams, you have to, like, always adjust your tactics. I have to put, like, Velocity on Stay Central so he can play off Otavio and well. I took it off just for now, but it's definitely not the it factor, I don't think. Let me try Otavio. Here's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to try, uh, we're going to see... Uh, we'll have it on four depth for defense, and we're gonna try it out with the possession-based playstyle because with this card, I feel like you're gonna have to base your playstyle around um, possession. I think personally, let's see what's up with this. So go ahead and use stay central on Velocity and maybe get him behind just to get a little bit of movement out of him. Let's see what's up now. I mean, to be fair to Otavio, like me doing this review, it's the same with me like reviewing Coutinho. The gameplay is not the greatest right now, but you can still tell that he's a very generic card. Like with Neymar, when you're using a card like Neymar, even the even the Belasi roll to the final card, like it's just really, really good cards, right? And um, you know, for this stage of the game in FIFA, the card should just be significantly better as a league SBC. Let's be real, you know. Like, I think I enjoy using Nakajima's card more, if anything. And Nakajima's a card, as you guys know, that actually bothers me a lot. But because he's FC Porto, he just feels more usable, you know? All right, guys. So final verdict on the Otavio card. I mean, dudes, in all fairness, like, I like the card because he's FC Porto. But in regards to in-game ability, he's super, super generic. My Gonzalo Gedge card from the Foot Miss uh, promo plays better than this card. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, during the team of the season stages, regardless of the fact that he doesn't have the weak foot, I expect more from this card. But he just feels incredibly generic. I tried him with different tactics. I put him in the cam spot, the left, right attacking positions uh, with different tactics, more with, less with, less players in the box, more players in the box, and you know he just felt very, very generic. And at this time for FIFA, you would expect cards like this through the league SBCs to be better like obviously the gameplay wasn't great but guys the gameplay is usually crap anyways you know what i'm saying like i have to test them out in those gameplays like when you use players like neymar bernardo silva ryan kent they still feel good in those gameplays but with otavio his off the ball movement it's 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 hard to blame him for because ea ea's attacking ai in fifa is so terrible to the point where super high rated cards like team of the year money and stuff don't move well unless they they themselves have specific characteristics to let them move well but i mean he was really disappointing like i'll unlock the card because he's an fc porto player but i mean at least with luis diaz's card i felt like i felt like you know there was something there with the card you know what i'm saying like he felt usable but this card he just felt super super generic as if like as if he got, like, an informed version of his card. I'm like, oh, cool, it's a usable version now. Like, this feels like a foot miss card, you know? And we're at the end stages of the game. Uh, very unfortunate in regards to that, but... Again, he's an FC Porto card. I'll get him in my team strictly because of that. If I play the game enough, because the gameplay does definitely doesn't make me want to push it. But, um, yeah, man. I mean, he feel, he feel, for me personally, he feels super generic, dudes. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and review in Cuckoo's card because people were talking a lot of crap about that card. But it actually looks usable with a Shadow Chemistry style. So we're going to go check that out afterwards.